Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another project. It's been a while, at least a month I think since my last project video and I'm ready to get back at it. I hope everyone is having a good day and I hope you all will enjoy this project that I picked out. I am going to restring a necklace. Yes, this looks like something from the 80s. But it's still fun. It's colorful. I think these may be wooden beads. They sound like it. I have a necklace similar to this with this type of beads with the paint splashed and they were wooden. So anyway, this is on a string and we're going to replace it with the beading wire, the bead stringing wire. So, I don't have my bead board today. We're just going to do this freestyle. So, this is what I have, and it's in the gold. It says gold color, yes. Uh, 19 strand. We're going to be putting a lobster claw clasp. So I'm going to be using this. So the beads are the only thing that's coming out of the jewelry jar. Everything else, of course, I'm supplying. Um, we're going to be using a little wire guardian on the ends. We're going to be using the crimp tubes and possibly a crimp cover. We'll see. And then I have my tools. I have the scissors for cutting the thread and the crimp tool and the pliers and um, I have other tools handy if I need anything else and let's get started with this. These as you can see are missing some of the beads. This is the focal. Maybe I should pull these down here and put this up here. This is the focal. Then we have the mirrored look on either side with the beads. It stops with this one. We have this one, and we have one like it here. So we're going to have at least this, and then we have two of these. And those don't really match, but depending on the length, we may or may not add these last three beads. We'll see. But I'm going to do something, and you know what, there is no... I guess right or wrong way to do this. Some people work off of, off of the spool, some people cut a length. I'm going to work off the spool so as not to um, waste any in the process. So what I am going to do first is cut this string and that goes there. And I'm going to start taking, and we'll do both crimps at the end. We'll put, you know, because of the way we're doing this. So we're going to take, oh my goodness. There we go. That must have been glued up in there. Let me cut this end off as a knot. So hopefully we will just go right along and string this. Yes, this piece has not been cleaned. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe when it's all said and done. And I'm just going to take every bead. I don't know if this was top or bottom, but it doesn't matter, does it? Take every bead and restring it onto bead stringing wire. So, and then I, once I get to here and I have the remaining beads, then I'll work on, work both ends. So, you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, I have done most of the stringing. I just wanted to share before I went on. I was going to go ahead and put the one end with the, um, with the lobster claw clasp, but I wanted to share that. I thought I'd do it on camera. So anyway, this is what we have. This is the string. It was a double, probably cotton string. 
That's the culprit. They always come undone. Right, Faith Robin? <laughs> so we're going to get rid of this. I'm not even sure. I'll save that. But to be determined. So I've added everything to this one side up to this point. And then I took the extra beads and I just laid them out to mimic this side. So this will be our necklace with the clasp. I had these three beads left over. They really don't... I suppose I could put two of them in the back, but they don't, they don't mirror one another, so I'm just going to leave those for another project. And upon closer examination, once it was off the string, I looked inside the beads. They have a white inside, so they might be acrylic. And on the red bead, on this red bead, as you can see, it has a coating. And the coating started coming off. I'm going to run this through the ultrasonic cleaner when I'm done with it, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I finish putting it together. And that may come off. And that would be fine with me. It's still a pretty bead. It doesn't have the, the lines going through it, like this splash of paint. As a matter of fact, this one looks like it's bubbling a little. So if that comes off, that'll be fine. It'll be just a solid color un underneath, and I don't have a problem with that. So what I did is I went ahead and I put a jump ring, and I've done jump rings on my other videos, so, you know, if you need to know how to open and close a jump ring, you can check out one of those. But I went ahead and put the jump ring on that end. I put my, on this end of the wire, I put a crimp bead. Then I threaded my wire guardian. And now I'm going to put this jump ring on there. That'll be ready to go. And then I'm going to feed this end back down. And I'm going to leave some extra. I know people say if you crimp it good, you can cut it close to the end. I find that there's always a little piece of wire sticking out. And it can poke you. It can hurt. I don't like it. So I always choose to pass it back down through two, three beads if I can. So this is on there. I'm going to close that up just a little bit. And I'm going to close my crimp. And I've done that on other videos as well. But I guess I can do it on camera. It's hard to do it on camera because I like to be up close. But try to get it as close as you can. But we might still put on a crimp cover. So, so you go ahead and you put that crimp I'm trying to see here. <laughs> we want to go in that second slot. Okay, I might have to do this off camera because I can't see. No, I've got it. Make sure. And you've got the wires laying side by side before you do the crimp. And you crimp that if you, I don't know if I can get it on camera, it will, it will look somewhat like a U. And then you go back with the first notch and you rotate, well it's a 90 I guess. 90 degrees, and then you want to close that up. Oh my goodness. These parts, they're tiny and they're shiny. And it makes it hard to see if you're not right up on, on top of it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the best I can. Now it keeps twisting on me. Oh, that just moved. Okay. 
We've got that. Then we want to get rid of this excess wire through a few beads. Yeah, that will end up inside of that one. So I'm just going to leave the whole thing. Get in there. And do this. Oh, and I want to mention, this was a new pack. I bought these in different colors, and they all came in these little packs. But I also bought a hundred pack, I think, of these tubes with the lids for storing like these, because these came in the package also, for storing the parts makes it easier, you know. I could use another little baggie with, you know, that closes up. But these are, these are really good. So, and they snap, they're good. Sometimes hard to get off the, the lids, but. Alrighty, so we want to, we got the one side done. And I'm going to, what is my color? My next color is this green. Oh, I don't want to use these. These are the extras. As usual, I might be editing and fast forwarding through a lot of this stuff. So you won't be seeing all of this. I did need one of these. So. That will be our finished necklace. I hope it's long enough. <laughs> Maybe I should measure it before I go on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyway. Just kind of take it. I apologize for my hands being in the way, but I'll get them out in just a second. So, uh... It will be just under, because 9 comes to here. No, that might be. Well, yes, I think just under 18 inches, so I think that's good. Okay, I think, oh, I need my cutters. Let's see, I need my wire cutters to cut the wire. So, I'm going to add just a little extra, probably about 6 inches or so. I'm going to cut this end off. Okay, we're done with this. Now I'm going to continue st stringing these beads on. And the sequence, see, see, there's like white on the inside. So I think these are acrylic beads, not wooden like I thought they may have been when I started. Oh yeah, I have too much, but you need some to, to work with, so this is not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as if it were my bead board, and I'm going to leave it like, you know, that curve. If you don't, if you lay it flat and you pull it tight on the end, you will have that buckling. I know I'm, I repeat myself, but I don't want you to forget that. It won't look right, so. Okay, we've got that. And then the next step is to put the, the crimp bead on. I'm using crimp beads as opposed to crimp tubes. And we have the wire guardian that we'll put on next. And, okay, it's not not wanting to go up that one side, so we'll go to the other side and see if we can come down. Yes, we can. Okay. And before we close it up, I'm going to add a jump ring to this side. I'm going to put, come on now, put it back down the other, put it back through crimp tube. I'm going, I hope you I, I'm not even watching what I'm doing, so I hope I've been on camera. So this is what we have. 
and I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to pull. Yeah, I have a little extra, so. That is what it will look like. Okay, so I am going to make sure I don't have too much extra. But like I said, I don't want it tight. Got that. And then I'm going to do, oh, not those. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And I am going to do this off camera because it's just easier. And you saw how I did this side. If you want me to do a separate video just showing you how to do the crimping, I can. But for now, I'm just going to go off camera. I'm going to do this end and show you the finished product. Alrighty, we are just about finished. I got everything strung, everything on the ends. The only thing I haven't done, I went ahead and I put one of the um, crimp covers, which I need to close that up a little bit better. That's better. Uh, on one side and I'm going to do that on the other side. Hope I'm not making a mistake doing this on camera. These are sometimes very difficult to get on, a little tedious, but if you see there's the crimp cover or the crimp bead and this is the crimp cover and it goes on top I need my magnifiers. It makes makes it a lot easier and I don't have them on. But <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done this on camera. Anyway, you just you need to put this over the crimp. Do I have my crimp closed enough? I think I do. Oh, the other one went on fine. Maybe I should have done that one on camera. <laughs> anyway, you get it in between your pliers. You get the opening, and you, in a perfect world, it would go right on top, and I keep, and I do this. It's not, it's not popping in there. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. It went snap. <laughs> but it's over the, the crimp cover now. And we just need to close that up. We really do. We need to close it up. Close it up a little bit more. And you go slow, side to side. That looks pretty good. I will... Oh, it needs a little bit more closing right there, but I'll do that. I think I was too close. I don't know if you saw that. You see it needs a little more tweaking. I'll do that off camera, but there you go. Did I put my ruler back? I did. Well, if I go from the inside, it's probably a 16. So. It's a little short, but anyway, this definitely gives you the ins and outs of what to do if you have one of these necklaces on the string and you want to transfer it over to the stringing wire. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll clean it. I'll maybe report back next week. Okay, you can see, see, it's coming off here. I actually like it better without that coating. So, with my luck, half of it will stay on, half it will come off. <laughs> well, that is this week's project. And I also want to mention, we have reached 100 subscribers. So I want to thank each and every one of you 
that subscribed. Some new and some came over from my other channel, which is always in the description box below. So if you ever want to see where I get the jewelry that I work with, that's where you go. But back to the, the subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Thank you for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. And what we're going to do here soon, I have to get some things together, but I'm going to do a giveaway. And it will be probably beads, maybe, maybe a little craft bag. Maybe I'll get some of the stuff that I actually take out of the bags. And it'll give you, you know, some findings, some beads, some this and that to work with. And you can follow along with me or make your own. But I haven't put it together yet and uh, it, it's coming up. So be on the lookout for that when I do. I'll post a video with after I've gathered up everything that I want to put in the giveaway and it, it will be that video, the future video, that you will make a comment on. So like I say, stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Uh, maybe not the beads so much, they're not for everybody, but the, how to repair, how to work with these findings and um, components. So if you did enjoy this and you're not subscribed yet, consider doing that and then hit that um, bell icon so you'll get notified when I do put up a video. I try to do it every week, but you know, it's not always possible. And leave a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see me do on this channel. Hopefully nothing too difficult. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting older. It's getting harder and harder to work with these small parts. But I still love it and I hope you all love it too. And I hope you'll come back and join me on that next video, that next project. So until then, you all take care and keep a lookout for the uh, giveaway coming soon. So until then, bye-bye.